All right, everyone. Uh, today's lesson is going to be indoor bocce ball. What I have here is a bocce court set up. You really just need an empty space. And I have balled up some socks for the bocce balls. Let me show you how we have it kind of set up. We've got an orange set of bocce balls, a green set, a black set, and then we have the Polino, which is the target. So how you play bocce is uh, the first group of people throws the Polino ball out onto the floor. And the object of the game is to get your bocce ball as close to the Polino as possible. All right, so how this works is person number one is going to be black. We're gonna have Invisa person one there. Um, Mom, will you be the black just for first demonstration? She's gonna throw one of her bocce balls and try to land it closest to the Polino. And then the next person goes on the green team. This would be pretend you have another partner. Oh, that's a nice one. And then I'll go on the orange team. Left hand of this may be funky. All right, and then we go back through. We have black. And green goes. And how orange. Oh. And then how you're gonna score it, whoever is closest to the Polino is the winner. If you're touching the Polino like this, you get two points. If it was apart, you get one. You get an extra point if you are the second uh, bocce ball closest to the Polino. So if the green were also like this, they would have um, three points because one was touching. And if this other one were closer, uh, that would be three points. But since it's not, the black is closer than the green, uh, green team gets one point. So then you gather up all the bocce balls and you start over and you will rotate through. Whoever wins each round gets to throw the Polino. So for bocce, indoor bocce, we are working on our manipulative skills, um, our tossing and throwing, and our teamwork. This is also cross-curricular because you have math in addition um, when you're keeping track of your score. You can also use any type of ball you would like. The balled up socks work if you don't have any uh, formal equipment but they also don't roll very, very well, but that's okay. That could just add a challenge to the game. How you could modify is you could see how the starting line um, right here in painter's tape. You could move the starting line up for those individuals with maybe disabilities or maybe um, who aren't quite as skilled as other players. They can start closer to the Polino. Um, if you have someone who say is a professional bocce player, they could start further back uh, since they're a little, a um, bit better just to even out the playing field.